These are the most versatile solar panels I've tested so far as it works with all the mainstream solar power storage systems such as the Jackery, EcoFlow, the Anchor Powerhouse. The panels are rated at 60 watts each. However, the maximum power output I was able to get was around 80 watts, which is about the same as the original EcoFlow 110 watts panel. That took at least 30 seconds to set up. It's so much faster to set up this EL solar panel. I'll quickly go over its design, the ports, and the included cables. A kickstand design secured by a button, so the angle can be easily adjusted. These two panels look identical, and they feature six ports on each panel. The ones on the left and right are bi-directional, input and output using its proprietary connection so they can be daisy chained to increase the power output. There are four DC outputs built in under the handlebar. The first one from the left is the XT60, 10 amps max. The second one is the barrel connection, 5 amps max. The type C and USB type A ports can be used to charge devices right from the solar panel without having to connect to any power station. The specifications are printed in the back of the panel. We can see that the QC3 USB port is rated at 5 volts 3 amps or 9 volts at 2 amps 12 volts at 1.5 amps. USB-C is a power delivery port at 12 volts 1.5 amps. There are six accessories included a few cables and a barrel connection adapter that works with most laptops. So the first one is the daisy chaining, a little plug that looks like XD60 to double the panel output. The, uh, the one I use the most is probably this XD60 that goes in directly in here, in here so I can charge the EcoFlow or the uh, Anchor battery power stations as the feature, all featured XD60 input. And for charging jackeries, you need this one included with a smaller and a larger connector. Smaller connector works with the Jackery Explorer 300, 500, and 1000. And for charging the Jackery Explorer 2000 and 1500, you need this larger connector, uh, which is already attached. And then we also got the uh, XD60 female to the MC4 connector, which is the industrial standard. This type of connection is recommended uh, as they are usually waterproof. And lastly, we also got a XT60 female to a barrel connector, making charging uh, laptops directly from this solar panel possible. It also comes with this bag, so I can keep all these cables organized and the panels protected. By using this adapter, I can directly charge my laptop. This is a Lenovo. To charge the iPhone, I'm using the USB Type-C to lightning cord. The best way to charge the laptop, for example, a MacBook Pro, is via the USB-C output from the power station instead of connecting it directly to the solar panel, uh, which will be a bit more unstable if there's an overcast. So the EcoFlow River 2 Pro is acting as a buffer and it's outputting 60 watts to the MacBook Pro while it's getting 73 watts from the solar panel which greatly offset the power consumption. Forgot to mention that the Bluetooth also features the same connection as the Jackery. The sun intensity is not the best at the moment, so I'm only getting 30 watts. The sunlight today is just not strong enough as the sunlight intensity shows 0% and maybe 1% over here. Let's try the Jackery E500. It's showing 28 watts, 61% remaining. At this point, I might wanna repositioning the angle a little bit to make sure I get the maximum sunlight output.
and avoid any shade that may dramatically decrease the power output. The solar output slightly increased to 32 watts right now. Depending on the sun intensity, at this point, I'm not getting a lot of sunlight. Um, let me try the Anchor 757. Looks like the Anchor 757 can take in a bit more solar input than the Jackery one under the same condition. I'm getting 47 watts right now. Okay, let's try the EcoFlow Delta 2. Now it's on, should be charging right now. 29 watts, 32 watts. Well, in terms of uh, solar input, I feel like the Anchor one does the best job so far. I'm only getting 25 watts out of it. Interesting. Um, as a continuous shot, unedited video, right? I'm going to plug this one back into the Anchor 5757 and let's see the input. In this case, I, I think it may have a better design in terms of MAP, MPPT, the maximum power point tracking. 34 watts right now. 32 watts. Okay, yeah. Although this test condition is not the best in terms of solar output, I'm just gonna try another one. Uh, the EcoFlow Reaver 2. Let's see. Again, one continuous shot, no editing at all. I'm getting um, 39 watts, not bad. Let's see how the Jackery Explorer 2000 takes it. Thirty-five watts, sixteen hours till fully recharged. Thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty-two. A one hundred and twenty watts portable solar panel. Let's take a look. A carrying bag. Looks like we got some accessories in this pouch. The user manual. Oh, there's a lot of accessories. Okay, we'll take a look at those later. I see the MC4 connector and the uh, XT60. Let's open it up. Two piece solar panels. A separated design. This is pretty unique. Two layers. So these panels facing each other, they won't um, rub against each other. It's quite sensitive. <laughs> Although I'm using it indoor, I can see that the screen is flashing, although there's, it's not possible to charge it indoor. That's a nice thing to see. Also got a kickstand, which is secured by this strap. Pretty clever design, I would say. This is pretty good, yeah. This is a button uh, to adjust the angle of the solar panel to maximize its efficiency. It has QC 3.0, so that's quick charging compatible. Uh, the ports, looks like we have a port to daisy chain these panels together, input and output. USB ports, USB Type-C and a uh, USB Type-A. Barrel connector, DC output, max 5 amps. And there is a XT60 output, max 10 amps. Two identical panels so theoretically I should be able to um, get more panels and to create a larger solar array Ooh. 
this part is flexible. Okay, now let's take a look at the cables. This this one is designed to keep them uh, connected together. And it only goes into one way. There's no way to reverse the connection. XT60, good for charging the anchor and uh, EcoFlow 